Okay, let's get ready to release everything with a nice gentle stretch. So we're gonna start um, with your chair, uh, your hands on a chair in front of you. So I want you to just place the hands on the chair, legs back, and then just kind of hang down here. So adjust yourself so that you're hanging comfortably. You don't wanna overly arch your back here, so keep the pelvis tucked a little bit and just hang. Feel this, everything release in the back. It should feel really good. Just breathe. Good, breathe. And then we'll place the hands on the ground. We're gonna come back to that all fours position, to that cat cow. So you're gonna take an inhale, everything arches, and exhale, everything rounds up. Back to, upper back comes to, everything comes. Inhale, release. And exhale, round. All the way up, one more. Inhale, release. And exhale, round. Good, and now a little chest stretch. You're gonna take one arm, take the arm closest to the screen, and reach it up in the air. Now I want you to sit back on your heels, and now open that hand up, so away from the screen. Yep, open it up. So you should feel a nice stretch in your chest, and in your mid back. Good, and let's bring it back. And now just do the opposite arm. So opposite arm goes up, we look at it, we sit back on our heels and open it up. Good, and hold, breathe. And let's come back into that all fours position for a little hip flexor stretch. So take one leg, doesn't matter which one do both legs, so bring it forward into a low lunge. I want you to keep your hands on the ground, the foot is in the outside of the hands, and you're over that back knee. Make sure you're not up here like this. We're over the back knee, and just hold it there. If you lean your body weight a little bit toward the back leg, you'll feel a stretch in the crease there. That's the hip flexor muscle. We just want to release a little bit. Good. And then switch to the other side. So other leg comes forward to the outside of the hands. Make sure the knee is over the ankle, not over the toe. Hands stay on the ground and feel that nice stretch. Again, make sure you're not over top of your knee. Good. And just breathe. And now bring that leg back. And now we're gonna come up for a little hamstring stretch. So you're gonna come up onto your chair here. Straddle, so legs are far apart, and you're gonna rest your elbows on the chair. You want a nice long spine here. You wanna feel a stretch in the back of your legs. So, if you're a little bit more flexible, you may want to put your hands on the ground here and just come down like Helen is showing here. Good, I'm gonna come back and put my arms here. Now, whatever option you're doing, just bend one leg, maybe bend that back leg here. Yep, we're gonna switch. And then come up, and then bend the other leg. And come up, let's do that again. So bend one leg, good. And bend the other leg. Good, now slowly and carefully come up. Good. and we're gonna take our chair. I'm just gonna face it this way. We're just using it to balance here. Okay, and we're gonna do a standing quad stretch. So you're gonna grab that ankle here, holding onto your chair for balance. Pull the belly button in. Now if you push your hips a little bit forward, you'll feel a little bit more of a stretch in the top of that leg. Good. And if you wanna do a balance challenge, you can always take that hand off and try to balance there. Good, breathe. Pull it forward, tuck that hip to feel a little bit more of a stretch. And let's switch it to the other side. So I'm just gonna come around here so we can hold. And pull that leg up and hold. Pull this in, breathe. Great job. Just congratulate yourself for a great workout today. Good. And come down, and now let's sit in our chair. 
we're gonna cross one leg over the other. It doesn't matter which one, because we're gonna do both legs. Make sure it's crossed, not at the ankle. You want it over the ankle, you don't wanna sickle your foot. Okay, so feet, other foot flat on the floor. Place your arms just behind you. Long spine, and I want you to push yourself only as far forward as you can until you feel a stretch in the glute muscle of the leg that's crossed over, okay? So you don't wanna push yourself so far and hunch here. You wanna maintain a nice long spine. So if that means you can't even push yourself forward at all, that's fine. Keep that long spine and keep breathing. Good. This one will feel good, especially if you did that glute workout today. Good. And come back. And then cross the other leg nice and tall. Good. And push it forward. Only as far as you can with that nice long spine. Breathe. Nice deep breaths. This one always feels good. Good. And we'll do a tricep stretch now. So come up, grab one elbow and pull. Just gently pull, sit up nice and tall. Try not to flare the ribs. Good, breathe. And let's switch it to the other side. Good. Hold, we're almost there. Good, now let's do a shoulder stretch. So bring one arm around, it's gonna cross, bring the other arm up, and you're gonna pull. So this arm is gonna pull slightly away, this arm is gonna kinda push it back a little bit so you're feeling a nice little shoulder stretch there. Good. And release, and switch. So again, this arm, extended arm is pulling away, this arm is pulling back. All right, now let's just do some arm circles. So circle those arms back. Shake everything out. Good, and let's do nice two big breaths. So nice inhale through the nose, arms come up. Exhale through the mouth, release. One more, inhale through the nose. And exhale. And I hope that feels a little bit better.